bags don't look too bad. I don't know why. Because then I sit up and... What? Right. I fancy a chat with my brothers and sisters. <laughs> All have the love within. Love. Love. What is love? Gosh, hasn't that been a question? So, yeah, the answer in my previous video. And, um, which was short, so fancy having a chat. And of course, it's going to be a long chat. I'm going to say what love is, but, you know, words, ha! Huh. What we think of a word differs, doesn't it? Anyway, it grows, actually. Uh, your understanding of a word grows, and it becomes um, real in your feelings in your core, soul. So, the word love <laughs> just, just ends up having a more and more bigger, fuller meaning. And yes, we go through stages. But actually, I wanted to start this video by saying <clears throat> We've been here, you know, us, brothers and sisters, four billion years we've existed. And we've only just been learning the rules. And it's time to play the game. Okay. So, four billion years, right? That seems a bit long, doesn't it? Why so long? Well, at first I was just thinking... Uh, we had to learn how to execute DNA and stuff like that. And so we were simple organisms and... And God was taking a look at us to see how each of us are different and how we all react differently so if you've got you know so many billion souls to initiate into this eternal life and you've made like so many billion little I don't know early prehistoric life simple organisms right and you see how you see, start to notice differences and some of them doing different things and the God has got to know us that way, so we needed that long. Well, God needed that long to get to know us and everything else. But I also think that, you know, this time that we're in now is such a critical time as we inhabit beings that are capable of of having this awareness that you're an eternal being and how different thoughts and things will trigger different feelings and it's it is very overwhelming when you're having one of these sincere moments you know, of, of understanding and thinking what you are. And so I think partly the four billion years was in order to, for our souls to grow in love, sort of your capacity to contain love, had to grow to a, to a point where where we would be able to hack it, <laughs> the 
the best word I can think of, to enjoy it, to cope with it. So, yes, four billion years is a long time. We've been building up experiences of um, being with other people and, well, people, right? But say, as animals, you have plenty of experiences of being with other animals. <laughs> but that we're all children of the, the, the being that we're in. Who I refer to as God, and just recently I've had this this new um, understanding of how there's love, which before I just thought of as a I didn't know what to think of it. It was just like a yeah, you know, love, and when I've had a little taste of it, wow, love is really nice. Um, so, just recently, so there's love, and then there's God. And a lot of people that I've listened to previously, and in, in the scripture and everything else, um, put these two things down as, as one and the same. And it gets confusing when you say things like love is at one with God and God is at one with love. I mean, yes, that's true, but that doesn't say they're one and the same. Is my moustache annoying? I forget to clear it out of the way. And I know when I watch my videos and my moustache is hanging over my face, it looks really like the person saying, Maybe my moustache. Right. Or I've got a bogey. <laughs> ah. It was quite interesting. My last video started off, oh, it's only four minutes long first couple of minutes my bags look awful and it's often because I've been meditating, you know, I do a video often straight after meditating, I've just been meditating now and I do a video because something comes to me and I want to do a video on it and you know and I guess like because I've had my face still or whatever afterwards it sort of takes some time to regain its shape <laughs> but I started talking about the love within and then it was almost, I could almost see it on the video, like, vroom, like, just, and I was saying that because without love we're nothing, we're flat. And, right, and then with love, you know, in this symbiotic relationship with love. And this is what God has been leading me to. And so if the people who have come to the conclusion of the one love, and it's within them, and I'm pretty sure they have. Um, God has been guiding them to that. So God is a lot more like us than most people think. Um, 15 billion years into the future, we will be like God is now. And what about time? Because this is the, what often gets me into... Feeling the one love is, you know, the unanswerable question. You know, I'm sitting there thinking I've got it all sussed out. And then I start thinking, well, 
you know how many generations are there like i've i've worked it out what we are you know we are this soul and this physical body is just a well i don't want to lose track here <coughs> anyway the unanswerable question is was there ever a beginning and will there ever be an end <clears throat> And obviously that leads to the possibility of infinity. And that's just, it's just unanswerable. It's just, you know, the, me the mind just cannot answer that. So at those points where you're sort of questioning, you know, existence, you do, I think, love responds to that anyway. Feeling the love within and that is a different thing to God. It's not God. God is our mother and father, our creator. So, God leads us to learn that we're in a, that we, that we, yeah, we depend, we're totally dependent on love. Completely and utterly dependent on love. So we will forever be together with love. So it's it's me and love. So I me, yeah, I'm me. I'm a I'm a I'm an entity, I'm a thing, but I'm nothing without love. So it's me and love. And me and love is slightly different to you and love, especially if you're of the opposite sex, because then you've got the other end of love. You see, love, if, if we're going to um, picture it, which, you know, obviously is only a picture of it, it's never the full thing, but if you're going to visualise it, right, this is what I'm saying, because when you're in the feeling mode, you're not visualising. Visualising is something else. It's a, it's a lower level, okay? So if we're going to picture love, we can picture it as a worm. And a worm is androgynous. But a two-headed worm. You can't really see the head of a worm, so it makes it quite easy to visualise. <laughs> and on one head of worm is the, is the masculine, and the other head of worm is the feminine. So I've got the I've got the masculine end in me. Now remember on the eternal tree of life we're on the end branches. We are the 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 newest creation. And in a sense that does make it special. It, it's it's new. What what we're going through is new. It's it's never ever been done before exactly like this. This is it's new ground. I do veer a lot, don't I? So if you're a woman, you've got the feminine end of love within you. And I am felt it fully yet since I've had this feeling of the the love is within me. So rather than having conceptualized that love is at my back and is coming in from behind, that's in a sense where I've pushed it out. I, I've, I've moved out of it like that and I left it behind me and we all did that, right? And we were two and further and further. <laughs> So since I've had that feeling of the the love is within me, and it's also with uh, without of me because we're in God, right? And, and <laughs> there's so much, right? There's so much. This the love within me, and my connection to my soulmate, 
has got the feminine love within her, right? Those two ends <laughs> get really happy when there's connection. Right. And it's that toroidal thing, it's that, you know, so, so for, for our mother and father God, they've, they've got that connection, that's permanent, it's been there. But for four billion years, new buds on the tree have been growing. And the realisation between them that there is that connection is only just beginning to occur. And if you imagine the size of this eternal tree, it's all happening. Like, pretty much at the same time. So it's a big thing. It's like, yeah. It's it's a really big thing. It's a it's a very big time. Which is why <laughs> we needed so much preparation, so much growth. So you've got that growth. You know, you can trust in God and love that it's all been done correctly because love is infallible love is infallible and when you get to the point where you are at one with love and love is at one with you you then are infallible and God was with love and love was with God <laughs> and then we were created so so you can be rest assured that it's all good oh. Brightening up outside. <laughs> We've had some miserable weather, it's gone really cold. But don't let that bother you. What's cold? To the soul. So the soul no cold. Was I tempted to put my heating on today? Yes. I'm glad I didn't. Because even when the cloud weakens like that and the sun comes through a bit, it's, it warms things up. Right. <clears throat> I don't know why I keep thinking I'm going to make a really long video. I used to make long videos, but they used to be much more gappy. And, um, I don't know. I haven't had the guitar out in ages. Well, I did, a, did quite a stint of it before, so I think I got that out of my system. I'm not here to entertain, you know, I like connecting with you, brothers and sisters, it's, it's good to connect, you know, you, it's kind of what love wants us to do, it's kind of why love needs us, is the things we do, and they don't have to be physical things, that's what I'm saying, like, the physical realm has been about learning the rules. The things we're going to do next are not going to be with our hands and feet. The things we're going to do is interact with love, our mother and father, all of our brothers and sisters, ourself and our soulmate. And, you know, you you don't really choose your village you know the people that you're going to be interacting with the people who you're going to get to know well and the people that you just pass for now 
on the street and make eye contact. And it was the same on same on the internet. You know, we we interact with people for different lengths of time and And there's an interaction going on on the soul level. So, this physical realm, you know, it's a space where these interactions can kind of have a, you know, have a realm, you know, so that you're not, you couldn't just meet everybody all at once. So distance is put between me and someone in South America. I'd have to get on a plane and fly over there to meet people in South America. I could do it on the internet. It's kind of more limited. You do get a connection. You do. You do. So... <laughs> Maybe this physical realm has had some boundaries that are now becoming less boundified. <laughs> but it still not wouldn't be quite the same as going and anyway. It's darkening now. Um, gone into my head, you know. Instead of speaking from the heart. What was I saying? Yeah, well, it's, it's what love needs us for. This, the stories, the. Because, yeah, because it's new. I don't know, it's just mind blowing. Why wouldn't love need us? Love needs all of us, right? Not one of us could falter and cease to exist. And. All of us, including all the billions of other universes, billions, 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 billions you know, huge, right? But for you, you and love, that's you. And time, that's why I, was, I started talking about time. You know, when, when you go into the feeling, you don't think about time. You just don't. You're not thinking about time when you're in the feeling. It just doesn't come up. It's not there. It's just now. But there is time. Because there is growth. There is progression. So, time does exist. It is a thing, but it's nothing we need to worry about. I mean, time is our greatest resource. I said that to someone in a dream. <laughs> it was like I was about I was driving and I was gonna park somewhere, and then phew, another car came in, parked. Guy got out, and I got out, and I was gonna be a bit arsy with him, and then I just, you know, because I'd wanted to park. And I looked at him and I went, yeah, time is our greatest resource. And he agreed. I don't know, there was a sense, I mean, he looked like, you know, he was wearing like, I don't know, smart sort of city clothing and short haircut and everything, but he was quite tall. But I just remember, I don't know, I thought like, why well, have this feeling that he's some sort of angel. But anyway, I think I've had a fight with him before. <laughs> So I think maybe I'm kind of getting on with, you know, I've made some sort of, like just when I just thought, you know, time is our greatest reason. You know, bags of time. So much time. Time is, yeah. And, um, and he agreed. So that's good. I'm getting on with an angel or something. But yeah, it's fun, enjoy the journey. Oh, what am I rabbiting on? What do I want to say?
No, I don't think I've got anything else to say. I think that's done. What about what about love? Has love got anything to say? Love. So I'm feeling love in my heart right now. I think love's just saying believe. Believe that it's all it's all wonderful. Believe it's all wonderful. You know, I've had plenty of these moments in the last few years where you know, you're just having a downer and you just don't believe and or you worry that you know I don't know just let things get on you which stop you from being able to believe you hear something on the news and then you think can it be can it be all wonderful if I'm hearing what I'm hearing and But when you feel it, you know it. Yeah, I'm high on cannabis. I've got to, I've got to appreciate that. You know, I'm I'm using that tool to get me. But it's not like this is something I've ever felt before, the previous days. <coughs> Last, what was it, yesterday? I can't, can't remember, yeah. Yeah, 28th. And I've smoked cannabis for years, right? So whatever I'm doing is benefiting me. And I'll still off the... Like before, like when I started this, say, three and a half years ago, I had to go for two weeks without cannabis, then have some strong cannabis to get to the point where I could do some soul work. So I have improved. Now I'm smoking, you know, weaker natural cannabis and, you know, so sort of regular ish so like i'll I'll run out and then see how long I can cope before I start making phone calls and texts <laughs> and that's not so bad it's as soon as you've made the text that and and this yeah tomorrow and then it's like wait for tomorrow it's like oh but that's the way I like to do it so you know i I've definitely improved in that sense I, I I know I have I mean I the 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 course I've been through if you like it and all and you know internal feeling this feeling that I like understanding this you know it's like been a pff, I never went to university but this has been fantastic you know learning from God being a servant to God the best boss in the world Anyway, so I've definitely improved, and you know, the journey the journey is enjoyable. It, obviously, you know there are there are some bits which are difficult. You know, every every step's a challenge. You know, you learn something. You know, and then the the next thing, there's another step, and it's a puzzle. Until you've made that step, it's a puzzle. But you know, as you get results, you you know, 
you can you can enjoy it because you know you know it's a you know there's a puzzle coming up you know you've just got to do the things that you've been learning like you know with me it's always like let go in the end yeah there was one a few days ago I was trying to feel this feeling and I couldn't feel it oh it's not coming out no <laughs> I couldn't feel this feeling and I was really struggling and then I remembered <laughs> Let go. <laughs> I think this is disgusting. I just get runny snot from from milk usually. From Tesco's, even though it says organic, it's from Tesco's. Anyway, uh, yeah, let go. Just let go. It's so it's good. And gentle, be gentle. Play. These are things you'll learn when you're coping with stuff. But don't don't just cope, but conquer. <laughs> conquer it, and you will, because you've been prepared. And just me having faith in that for me is nice. Just knowing that, yeah, God has prepared everyone. I don't have to worry about people. I don't have to worry about anyone. God's prepared them, it's God's plan. Trust in God and, and love. The love. Love has will. It's not just a thing. You can't, you know, love's will will be done, right? Love has a will. Let's not confuse that with God. Even though God and love are one, <laughs> are one with each other. They they're on the same goal, and that's what we will be. And I feel that's what I have now done, become, achieved. I'm sure there's always going to be more to learn. I'm going to be at the next step, the next puzzle, just around the corner. In about five minutes from now. <laughs> Believe. Believe it. Feel it and you'll know it. Okay, that's enough for me. Goodbye from now. Lots of love.